Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Ever since grade school, I've known this guy who's always had extremely long hair and has been a literal badass. There were a couple times where I tried to talk to him like I do with my normal friends, but he never accepted my friendship gestures. Ever since graduation, I haven't seen nor heard from him, so who knows where he is with life nowadays. Still, he was a pretty big jerkwad and may have never understood what the word fun means. F-U-N is the episode where Spongebob tries to befriend Plankton to try to cheer him up when he thinks Plankton's miserable. Like Culture Shock, this episode aired on September 18, 1999, and it is also, in my opinion, the first instance of the more interesting side of the Spongebob and Plankton dynamic. This is the first time where they are shown as actually getting along and becoming friends. While they first met in episode 7, Plankton, and interacted with each other, this was Plankton trying to trick and control Spongebob into getting him a Krabby Patty. And yes, while this time, it started up as Plankton trying to get close to Spongebob to steal a Krabby Patty, it's still apparent he was getting a genuine sense of friendship. I personally feel this is one of the more interesting dynamics of the show. Of course, I always loved this episode, but I became more interested in Spongebob and Plankton's relationship after the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water. That whole movie was about Spongebob and Plankton working together to retrieve the Krabby Patty secret formula after it vanishes and Bikini Bottom goes all apocalyptic as a result of the lack of Krabby Patties. And seeing their dynamic more fleshed out in this movie made me more invested in this pairing and made me realize how creative it can be. In addition to that, this episode is also a fan favorite because of the song that is sung in there, the fun song. Just like the Ripped Pants song from episode 5, Ripped Pants, this song is the first thing most people think of when thinking about this episode, and justifiably so. It is a great song, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now, let's watch this episode and see the first friendly interaction between Spongebob and Plankton. So the episode starts up and we're at the Krusty Krab where the customers are enjoying their Krabby Patties. Suddenly, an alarm goes off and the Krusty Krab goes under lockdown. All the customers are panicking and Squidward spots a Krabby Patty rolling towards the front exit of the Krusty Krab. Wow, is that Squidward actually focused and caring for his job? No wonder people love this episode. The Krabby Patty lasers a hole in the wall and we see that, of course, Plankton was stealing it. He escaped the Krusty Krab and Mr. Krabs was sad that Plankton stole the formula, but thankfully Spongebob heroically gives chase after Plankton. Spongebob spotted the Krabby Patty rolling through downtown and chased after it. He chased it up on the rooftops, down buildings, and the chase finally ended at a magic shop when the Krabby Patty was wearing funny looking glasses as a disguise. Spongebob thought the Krabby Patty was a magician and started talking about a time he saw a magician and Plankton couldn't take Spongebob's talking and gave Spongebob the patty back. Plankton started to feel sad about all his failures and when Spongebob tried to cheer Plankton up, Squidward, Mr. Krabs, and some other townsfolk ran Plankton away in shame and declared Spongebob Honorary Town Rookie of the Day and cheered him on. Rookie of the Day? First time I've heard of it. Also, are there even enough people in Bikini Bottom for them to do this every day? Spongebob felt sorry for Plankton and thought maybe Plankton could use a friend. Later on, Spongebob went to the Chum Bucket and invited Plankton to play with him. Plankton ignored Spongebob at first, but Karen told Plankton to use this as a plan to steal the Krabby Patty when the timing is just right. So Plankton agrees and Spongebob takes him to Jellyfish Fields. When they get there, Spongebob shows Plankton how to catch and release a jellyfish and warns him about the jellyfish stingers. Then Plankton fantasizes about taking over Bikini Bottom with a giant jellyfish and winning, but Spongebob tells him that it's about fun, not winning. And he explains fun by singing the fun song by saying, F is for friends, U is for you and me, and N is for anywhere and anytime. I hate to say this, Spongebob, but U starts with a Y and anywhere starts with an A. Plankton tries singing the song with evil terms like, F is for fire, U is for uranium bombs, and N is for no survivors. Plankton also refuses to sing it Spongebob's way, but he eventually does it and starts to feel happy and tingly inside. At this point, he starts to feel a genuine sense of happiness and friendship and continues to sing with Spongebob, this time singing F is for frolic through all the flowers, U is for ukulele, and N is for nose picking. Okay, so what does F-U-N stand for? Friends, you and me, and anywhere? Fire, uranium, and no survivors? Or frolic, ukulele, and nose picking? I'm going crazy just thinking about it. Mr. Krabs sees Spongebob having fun with Plankton and is not pleased. Later that night back in the Chum Bucket, 
Plankton is telling Karen about what he and Spongebob did, but Karen sees that Plankton is losing focus on his mission and wearing pants just like Spongebob's. Actually, Karen was rushing things. Spongebob and Plankton weren't near the Krusty Krab, and Spongebob didn't have a Krabby Patty on him, so Plankton was right throughout that whole scene. At the Krusty Krab, Mr. Krabs refuses to believe Spongebob's telling him that Plankton had changed. When Plankton arrives at the Krusty Krab, he and Spongebob try to leave, but not before Mr. Krabs tries to tempt Plankton by setting a Krabby Patty in front of him and buttering him up. When Spongebob and Plankton leave, Mr. Krabs starts to suspect that Plankton gave up his evil ways, but then sees that Plankton actually did steal the patty. At the movie theater known as The Reeb, Spongebob and Plankton are having popcorn when Bubble Bass sits on Plankton and squishes him by twerking. Oh uh, yeah, I forgot. That's the other reason why people like Bubble Bass. Spongebob gets Bubble Bass off Plankton, and Mr. Krabs shows up and tells Spongebob and the moviegoers to take their items out of their friends' pockets. When Spongebob does this, he is shocked and betrayed to see that Plankton has actually stolen a Krabby Patty, especially since they sang the fun song. Plankton admits he did trick Spongebob to get the Krabby Patty, but then he says he only wanted friendship, right before he says how much he loves being evil and runs off with the Krabby Patty, ripping the movie screen in half. Spongebob thought Plankton escaped, but Mr. Krabs says he didn't because there's solid concrete behind movie screens. How did Mr. Krabs know that? I've never seen what's behind a movie screen. Spongebob apologizes to Mr. Krabs, and Mr. Krabs forgives him. Mr. Krabs flicks Plankton away on the Bubble Bass's hand, Bubble Bass mistakes Plankton for a jelly bean and chases him around his hand, and the episode ends. So that was F.U.N., and now I shall share my thoughts and feelings about this episode. And this episode is awesome. I love how it sets up Spongebob and Plankton's on and off friendship. It's rather simple when you think about it, but it also works more than fine for the first true instance of this dynamic in the series. Additionally, there are a lot of memorable moments sprinkled throughout the episode too. I really like the lockdown sequence at the beginning of the episode, and the following chase sequence feels epic and exciting. However, I do have a couple questions about this run of the episode. First, why does Mr. Krabs just give up that quickly after Plankton escapes with the Krabby Patty? Sure, at this point in the series, which is the first half of Season 1, he caught Plankton before he escaped with the Krabby Patty, but there are so many times in the future where he is shown stopping Plankton outside the Krusty Krab. With how determined he is at keeping Plankton from discovering the formula, I find it odd how he doesn't even attempt to give chase during this scene in particular. The second question is, why does Plankton go through downtown Bikini Bottom with the Krabby Patty? The Chum Bucket is supposed to be across the street from the Krusty Krab, but apparently it's across town this time, which makes it all the weirder. I have two more scenes to question, but these are more nitpicky than anything. One of those nitpicks is one of the questions I said earlier. Are there really enough people in Bikini Bottom for there to be an honorary town rookie every single day? My final fuss is that I wonder why Bubble Bass thinks Plankton is a jelly bean. Yes, I know Plankton is shaped similar to a jelly bean, but since Bubble Bass loves food, you'd think he'd know that jelly beans can't scream and run around in circles. I know, I'm like such a spoiled brat, right? Those are my only gripes about this episode, but that doesn't take away how amazing this episode is. Going back to my favorite parts, I love when Plankton is shown wearing pants similar to Spongebob's, and the part where the random moviegoers take things out of their friends' pockets. And of course, the fun song. It kinda goes without saying, but the fun song is the highlight of the episode. It's catchy, it's memorable, and the characters are so full of passion and happiness when they sing it. This song is also part of the Spongebob's Greatest Hits CD, which released in July 2019 during the show's 10th anniversary, which also goes to show how great any and all Spongebob songs are. This episode is also quite beloved by fans themselves. Going back to the show's 10th anniversary, this episode was voted number 2 by fans during the Top 10 Fan Favorite Episodes portion of the Ultimate Spongebob Sponge Bash. There was also a marathon called Top 100 Greatest Nicktoons Moments, and this episode was number 14. Going back to what I said about the Spongebob and Plankton dynamic, after the Spongebob movie Sponge Out of Water, this was the first episode about Spongebob and Plankton I re-watched. That movie really made me realize how awesome this relationship truly is, and I became much more interested in how fleshed out these characters can be. Of course, I always liked this episode and other episodes with this on and off friendship, but the aforementioned movie really opened my eyes on how underrated this pair really is. To wrap up my thoughts, this episode is great and definitely a standout. The humor works, 
the characters are dynamic and well-rounded, the song is astounding and hilarious, and the Spongebob and Plankton relationship is something I can always get behind watching. And this alone goes to show how well-written an episode and these characters can truly be. FUN is an awesome episode, and it sets up the on and off Spongebob and Plankton friendship really well. Obviously, I like this episode for more than just this reason, but I wanted to shed some light on that today. And while the song is one of the best throughout the entire series without a doubt, what is it about this episode that truly makes it remembered by so many fans? Most likely, I'd say it's the part where Bubble Bath sits on Plankton. 